Welcome back here at 620. Kids are getting ready to go back to school, and it's going to be full time for many when it has not been that way in a year, maybe a year and a half for a lot of students. So anxiety can certainly come into play. We know it's come into play for a lot of adults even uh, over the last year and a half of the pandemic. So how do you help your child cope? Uh, there could be some separation anxiety, all sorts of issues that could present. Joining us this morning, marriage and family therapist Jessica Bursloff to talk about back to school uh, and even work anxiety. Jessica, good morning. It's good to have you on again. Hi, thanks for having me. I think that a lot of kids are probably going to feel that separation anxiety when, when they hadn't felt it in a long time. Uh, it's been a year and a half, though, of some sort of alternate schedule uh, or maybe just strictly at home. How do we help them cope and go back into this new normal again? Yeah, I mean, I think we're all going to be struggling with some separation anxiety. I know I am sending my two-year-old to daycare for the first time after being with him pretty much every day for the past 18 months. But the biggest piece of advice I can give to both parents and, um, you know, adults maybe who don't have kids that are feeling nervous about this transition is just name your feelings. Don't be afraid to be honest about the anxiety and don't be afraid to validate your kid's anxiety as we say in my field, we got to name it if we're going to tame it. So that's kind of my first piece of advice. How do we recognize anxiety in our kids? Because I think sometimes it shows up very differently than it does in adults. Yes, that is true. Um, with kids, it manifests mainly as physical symptoms, and sometimes it manifests as what we as adults view as temper tantrums, or we might think of as anger, when really what we're seeing is anxiety or fear. Um, something that happens in the brain when we feel like we're under threat, whether that's an emotional threat or a physical threat, is we go into fight or flight. And so a lot of times when kids are in that anxious, fearful state, they'll look like they're in a fight state. And so a lot of times if you have a kid that's being really tantrumy or angry, sometimes a good question to ask them is if they're worried about something or if there's something they're nervous about. And they are, if they are nervous and they are dealing with this, how can we help them through that? Because we know that being in school is very important to them. They need to get used to this again. How do we help them through that? Yeah, absolutely. So, as you know, definitely validate, name, and tame those feelings. But on the other hand, also, you know, make sure as a parent you're being careful about what you're saying. Because I know that a lot of us adults are also kind of nervous about this re entry period. But if the kids sense that we are nervous or that we're anxious, that's only going to make it worse for them. So, if we really focus on the things that we're looking forward to, the positives, you know, seeing our friends again, getting to play on the playground, getting to um, be with our, you know, with people that we like and getting back to normal, then I think that can really go a long way in helping the kids see the positives and see the things that are coming up that are really there to be look, you know, that we're looking forward to. Yeah, it's probably really important to watch what you say because you may think that they're not necessarily listening to the adult conversation in the kitchen between mom and dad, uh, but they're right there next to you and they, they are probably picking that up. It's important to remember. Yeah. All right, Jessica, yeah, absolutely thank are. you so much. We appreciate you coming on again, and, and uh, we're hoping for the best for all of us and our separation anxiety and you as well. Thanks so much. All right, we'll be right back after this.